Now at 430, a point of contention across some communities. Right now, there are no laws in the city of L.A. banning people from living in their RVs in residential neighborhoods. The ordinance that banned that expired last year. And since then, some residents say their neighborhoods have been overrun with campers. Now one city councilman is trying to revive that ban. NBC4's Andy Crouch has details for us. Where are we supposed to park in the neighborhood? People who live near Rose and Main Street in Venice sent us this video of rows of RV campers permanently parked in their neighborhood. People here tell us besides taking up parking spaces, some of the campers block sidewalks with their belongings. Others dump their toilets directly onto the street. Neighbors say they're fed up. I see a lot of garbage and it stinks. It smells really bad. We need a place for them and I don't think it's here. Homeless advocates say not being able to afford rent isn't a crime, and in a city with sky-high housing costs, for some, RV camping is better and safer than sleeping on the street. When I lost my job, we had to figure out another place to live. Charles O'Neill says he moved into a converted bus because he can't afford rent while his wife goes to college. A lot of these people here are hardworking people. The ordinance that banned RVs and other campers from parking overnight in neighborhoods expired in January 2020. The city didn't renew it, in part due to the pandemic. So even though signs banning overnight parking are still posted in some locations, there are currently no restrictions being enforced anywhere in the city. The city of Los Angeles today is the largest mobile home park in the country. And we owe it to the housed and the unhoused because today it's a free-for-all. LA City Councilman and mayoral candidate Joe Buscaino wants to revive the RV parking ban, but he wants to tweak the law so that RV owners could get a free permit to park in industrial areas. That way, the city could control how many RVs will be parked in any one spot. The permits would also connect RV dwellers to homeless services. Buscaino believes the changes in the ordinance would allow it to hold up to any potential constitutional challenges. Violators could be subject to fines. If they don't abide by the rules, then they have to move on. The proposed ordinance will be considered by the city's Homelessness and Poverty Committee later this month. If approved, then it goes on to the full city council. If it receives final approval, it will still likely be many months before enforcement would begin. In Venice, Angie Crouch, NBC4 News.